Hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today to film a really exciting video because not only is it one unboxing for fairy loot, but it is two unboxings. I'm so hyped about this. I've actually had this one for a couple of weeks now and I've been dying to open it up. This is the Chain of Gold Collector's Edition box that they sent out in honor of Chain of Gold's release. And then this one is what I was waiting for because I did want to do a double unboxing from the start. The March Fairy Loot box. I know we are currently in May but it actually did get delayed just because of the coronavirus outbreak and everything like that. Shipping was all sorts of messed up, so I totally understand why it took a little bit longer to get to us, but I'm still really, really excited. I hope you guys are too. I'm so hyped to get into this. Again, I've been staring at that chain of gold box for like two weeks now, and to finally be able to open it up with you guys is chef's kiss. And I'm also really excited because I know that in my last unboxing video, a few of you people said that you missed dedicated unboxing videos and not just having it in my vlogs. So here we are with a dedicated unboxing video. Let me know what you guys think because I know that that was what some people were saying, but do you prefer like a dedicated unboxing video or do you prefer to have it just like in my vlogs. I'll do it whatever way. I might do it both ways. We'll see. Let's kind of just dive in. I'm going to start with the March fairy loot box and then I will actually put a timestamp right here of when the collector's edition box is just in case you want to go straight to that or just in case you don't want to see it at all because I know that that's how I am with boxes anyways. Like if I haven't received mine yet, I don't want to watch an unboxing of it yet. You know what I mean? So let's just dive in. I couldn't find my normal knife so... I've got scissors. I'm gonna be honest, I've completely forgotten at this point what the theme was for March, but we're about to find out, so. By the way, by the way, I always forget to say this, but I am a rep for Fairloot, so if you do want a discount, this is my discount code. I always leave all the information though down below, as well as the link to Fairloot's website. So if you want more information on it, or if you want to follow the link, or if you want to know what the discount's for and everything like that, just go into my description bar. I leave it there for you. So, let's get in. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. It was jam-packed. The box was actually indented from the amount of stuff that's in here, so I'm just so hyped. Okay, let us start with the spoiler card. Oh, this is so nice! So it's this beautiful warrior girl who's holding a sword and she's gonna break a prince's manacles. Wow, we love that for her. We love a damsel in distress that is a prince. <laughs> The theme for the month is Break the Curse. Oh, now I remember this because I remember thinking that I was going to be so excited for everything that was in the box. So I'm just going to set this down right here. And it is the March box, by the way. I did just see again. And let's kind of just grab the first thing on top. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so cute. So we got a postcard and it says Valaris on it. And Valaris is obviously the city of starlight from A Court of Mist and Fury. And they actually wrote us a little letter on the back. Oh, this is so sweet. So I guess it's kind of like an extra thing that they added because the box was coming so late and it was basically saying like thank you so much for the patience that they're blown away by the support of the community and that they hope that we're still staying safe in these trying times and that Valaris while it is a fake city they thought that it would be a nice little touch and that the city of starlight would brighten your day a little bit and remind you to not let the hard days win which that is one of the quotes from A Court of Mist and Fury that's like pretty iconic. I love it! This is so sweet! This is a really nice touch that they did not have to do and and I appreciate it immensely. All right, so let's grab this. Oh my gosh, it's a little notepad and it has all these very cute like Aladdin style themed. So we have the genie lamp with some like mystical smoke coming out of it. We have the Sultan cap thing. I'm not sure what it's called. And then one of those curved daggers, those fun little slippers. This is really nice. I love notepads. You can honestly never have too many notepads, especially for myself as a to-do list kind of gal. So I have a bullet journal and I try and keep my to-do list in there. And what I do is I took a page from Books with Chloe's bullet journaling videos and I like have a little area where I can washi tape my to-do list and this would look so cute as the one that's washi taped in. So I'm excited about that. It was designed by Katarina Book Designs and it's just a genie notepad so it's just there's no specific book in mind when they made it. I'm gonna say it's Aladdin. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh! <gasps> we 
got a passport holder! I love these kinds of things! Oh, and this one's so nice! It's like leathery, and it says passport on the front, it has like a dagger with a crown and a heart, and it says citizen of wonderland. Oh my gosh, queen of hearts. This is so cute! I love passport holders. I think that now I have three different kinds of like passport holders, and the one that I have I'm still really partial to. My mom gave it to me and it's a really funny like play on the whole booklet that's in it's hard to explain maybe I'll talk about it another day but this one is so cute and bookish and I'm assuming it's inspired by Alice in Wonderland it's designed by at Navar and tail it is inspired actually by the Queen of Hearts retelling Heartless by Marissa Meyer which is a book that I've been meaning to read for too long now like way way too long ooh what's this oh it's a headband like a headband headband like a Blair Waldorf headband if you're a gossip girl lover, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I would ever use this just because I'm not a headband wearer in general. Oh, this one's not that uncomfortable, actually. I look kind of funny with it on with my little things, but it's not that uncomfortable. I've always noticed that the backs of my ears just start to hurt way too much. I went definitely through a phase in sixth grade, no, fifth grade, where I would wear headbands all the time, and I have not done that since, but... This is a fun touch. Oh, it's a Raven Boys headband and it's illustrated by Tara and you can definitely see the little ravens on it with the flowers and the antlers. It's cute. I really like the print. I just, I don't know if I would ever use a headband. I'm not a headband wearer. I don't know. Ooh, oh my gosh. I thought it was a pouch because of the way that it was like this, but it's a book sleeve. I love Fairy Loot's book sleeves. I get a ton of questions from you guys asking where I get my book sleeves from. I honestly get them from book boxes and I think that Fairy Loot's are my favorite just because they are really, really nice and thick and fluffy, but they have a zipper at the top so you can keep like your annotation supplies in here as well. So I really appreciate that. And then this one says, failure isn't absolute. Just because you couldn't save everyone doesn't mean you didn't save anyone. And it's by Bridget Kemmerer. So I'm assuming this is from A Curse of Dark and Lonely, though I can't exactly remember from what scene. This is so cute though, I love the colors on it. Blues and purples, just, they look so good together. And it is a Curse Breaker book sleeve, and it is inspired by A Curse of Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimmerer, and it was designed by Evie Bookish. What is this? Oh, I think they said that there was gonna be a very exciting item in their box, and I'm not sure what it is, but it came in this big ol' box. Oh my gosh, it's a tumbler. I'm in desperate need of tumblers. I love tumblers because it's what I drink my iced coffee from during summer and we're approaching summer pretty quickly here in Vegas, but I packed away my tumblers and I can't seem to find them. I haven't unpacked all my kitchen supplies in the new house because I don't need to and I just can't find my tumblers anywhere so they're probably in a box, but this is perfect because now I don't have to look for them. I can just reuse this one over and over again. So let's see, oh my gosh. I think if I'm not wrong, this was the same kind of box print that they used for the Queen of Nothing Collector's Edition, but like theirs was green while this one's white. Oh my gosh. <gasps> so we have our straw and then the actual tumbler is so freaking stunning. I love that it's like an all the way around one instead of having the quote on both sides. But it says to family and fairyland and pizza and stories and new beginnings and scheming great schemes. I can toast to that. Holly Black. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Wow. Well, if you have to only have one tumbler to drink iced coffee from during the summer. This is a pretty cool tumbler to have. So the design was created by Navar and Tail and it features a quote from the Queen of Nothing by Holly Black, which I still have not finished. Don't come at me. Ooh, and then we got our next tarot cards in the bunch. Oh, and we have two people on each. I kind of look, wait, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. These are thrown of glass. <gasps> what? I love this, holy so we have the Eight of Cups, which is Lysandra and Adian, and then we have the Seven of Cups, which seems to be Kale and Irene. I love this. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. You guys know I love Throne of Glass. It's always going to hold a special, special place in my heart, so it's really fun that they finally made some tarot cards for it. Because they started, if I'm not mistaken, they started their tarot cards with the Court of Thorns and Roses. Did I say what the tarot cards? Oh, they're still being designed by Gabriella Bujdoso. Nice. And then we have a lanyard, which, ooh, is like card 
themed. It also looks like it's Alice in Wonderland slash Queen of Hearts inspired, which I really like. Oh, it's Caravelle. <laughs> well, I can see it, but it definitely is giving me like heartless vibes, but I mean, I don't know. I guess they all kind of have the same kind of theme going on. And it was designed by Katarina Book Designs. All right, so let's get into the book. Ooh, she's kind of thick. I like that. All right. So let's get all the goodies out. We have our bookmark that matches the spoiler card. Oh my gosh, I just saw the sprayed edges and they're stunning. <laughs> and then we have the fairy scoop and oh my gosh, this character print is so pretty. I mean, she is stunning and I love all of the detail around it. Wow. Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's grab the book. So, tug tug. All right. I'm hyped. <laughs> oh my gosh, I should have guessed. I mean, the character card looks very similar, you know? This is so cool! So Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy was actually on my anticipated books of the year list, I'm pretty sure. And I'm so excited that we got an exclusive fairy late edition for it. Like, the cover is so stunning. And then we have these beautiful, like, light sage green sparkly edges. I love their sparkly edges. I mean, I end up getting sparkles all over myself, but they're just so stunning. Oh, and then we have the freaking autograph. This is so pretty. Okay, let me read you the summary real quick. Bone criers have a sacred duty. They alone can keep the dead from preying on the living, but their power to ferry the spirits of the dead into goddess Alara Night Heavens or Tyrus's underworld comes from sacrifice. The gods demand a promise of dedication at the cost of the bone criers' one true love. Elise has been prepared since birth to become the matriarch of the bone criers, but first she must complete her rite of passage and kill the boy she's also destined to love. Bastian's father was slain by a bone crier and he's been seeking revenge ever since, but his vengeance comes too late. Elise's ritual has begun and now their fates are entwined in life and in death. Sabine has never had the stomach for the bone crier's work, but when her best friend Elise is taken captive, Sabine will do whatever it takes to break the bond between Elise and Bastien before they all die. The first pulse-pounding novel in a new duology from the New York Times best-selling author of Burning Glass shines with doomed romance, macabre magic, and a betrayal with the power to shatter the boundary between the living and the dead. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I knew to check the reverse of the dust jacket. They've been doing this lately and Let's just, let's make her completely naked. Love how the black and the green looks. <sighs> Iconic. This is so stunning. Wow. Wow. I'm into this. I'm really, really happy with that. That is so exciting. So let's read the fairy scoop real quick. Okay, so we have the interview with Catherine Purdy. We have the Bone Criers read-along, which is going to be happening from May 4th to the end Oh, that's funny. So this read-along will start on May 4th and more details along with the exact reading schedule will be published on community.fairyloot.com in the end of April. And the read-along host will be Cody. And then we have next month's theme, which I'm already enthralled by that. It's memories. And you can expect items inspired by Throne of Glass, the beautiful Harry Potter, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, and more. And it will also include volume three of the collectible secret books. That's exciting. I love those secret books. I definitely keep them on my shelves and find use for them every single time that they've sent it. So I'm so excited to see what the third one looks like. And the book is gonna be set in a world inspired by Inquisition era Spain, where magic is feared and rebels are trying to overthrow the crown. And it's gonna have an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket by Tara and will be signed by the author. Love that. Okay, I'm excited, I'm excited. I mean, Throne of Glass. So this month was absolutely amazing, actually. I feel like it's hands down, like my favorite item was the tumbler. So it's not really, there's no battle. I mean, I really like the book sleeve, but the tumbler, it won my soul. So I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna actually pack this up. That way, if anyone did skip over this area and they're just watching for the collector's edition, they don't have to see what's in the box. So hold. And now let's get into the Chain of Gold collector's box. Again, I'm so excited to open this up. It has been teasing me for months. So, I mean, from my shelf, it's only been like a week and a half, but in my brain, the anticipation, it's been killing me. Let us open it up. So that happens to me way too often. Let's just uh, sit that back down there. Oh my gosh, look how full she is. 
Okay, I'm gonna put her down and let's just dive right in. I love Fairy Loots collector's boxes. I just feel like the items in them are so, so high quality and I appreciate that. So this is just the little spoiler card where it has all of the items on the back and it just says chain of gold box collector's edition and this was actually in collaboration with cassandra claire so we can be confident that everything in here was approved by cassandra claire which is really really cool and let's just start with this this blanket tapestry thing that we saw at the top i don't know what it is but i'm excited it oh i think it's a tapestry okay okay oh i love this art style this is monolime art it's monolime art it has to be monolime art i love monolime art <laughs> Oh my goodness! They are so cool looking! I can see it through it. By the way, I'm not just like saying that. I literally can see through. I guess you can't tell, but the ring light's right there, so. This is so pretty! Oh, she's so pretty! Oh my goodness! I love this! A lot! Oh, I need to like find a good way to display this. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so kind of put it right there and I love it so much. I love the colors in it It's just so stunning. It's a James and Cordelia tapestry and it was designed by monolime art oh, I love this. Okay I'm not sure if I would ever hang it up because I like to try and keep my walls a little bit more neutral But I just the art style is so stunning I might even use it like as a back because I put a throw blanket over my couch my little reading chair And it would be kind of cool to have the tapestry there instead. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, 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 what is this? <gasps> it says the Mortal Cup and it says officially licensed and that's exciting. Oh my gosh, it's the Mortal Cup Jace, not the Mortal Toilet Bowl. <laughs> oh yeah, that's when Jace says that it, he thought it would be bigger. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is so fancy. This is so fancy. It's like, oh, it's removable so you can actually clean it. You can use this, like if you wanna drink from it. This is really, really neat. I love it so much. I've always kind of wanted a mortal cup to put on my shadow hunter shelf, but first of all, I don't have room on my shadow hunter shelf, but second of all, I just never knew how to go about getting one. So this is so cute and so convenient. I love it. I'm already very impressed. Let's see though what it says. It's a mortal cup replica brought to us by Fairy Loose. That's really, really cool. I didn't think that Fraley would have made it, but I guess that makes sense. Ooh, okay, whenever we get one of these, I know that it's a wooden bookmark, and I love their wooden bookmarks. Oh my goodness. They're just like really thin, which is cool, and like their screen printing on it is done very, very well. So on the front, it looks like this is Cordelia, if I'm not wrong, if it's the same girl. And then the quote on the back says, people are only invincible in books by Cassandra Clare. I really like this. Oh, wow. I just want to know how they can screen print it so well on a piece of wood. I cannot wait to add this to my wooden bookmark collection. It's just going to look really good. And it is Cordelia that was drawn by at Nero Sky, and the quote was actually designed by Stella Bookishart. So let's grab whatever this is in this. Oh, a book sleeve. I don't have to say my thoughts on book sleeves twice. I said it earlier in this video, but. I love their book sleeves. <laughs> what? This is so cool. It's a double-sided one and the back has, I'm assuming this is James Carstairs. Yes, it's a James book sleeve and it's designed by Tara. And then the quote was actually designed by Nobber and Tail and it says, did you expect fear? Then you do not know my father. You do not know my mother. You do not know my family or me. Ooh, that's intense. I really hope James says that because his parents. If you've read The Infernal Devices, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I almost like the quote side better than the actual drawing, even though the drawing's stunning. I like that you have the option. Oh, so cool. And then we have an art print. Oh, it's double-sided. That's cool. I feel like I've never seen a double-sided art print that has the same art on both sides. And it's the boys from Chain of Gold. So I still haven't read Chain of Gold, so I'm not entirely sure who they are, but they appear to all be shadow hunters. They have the, you know. Oh, I love it. This is so high quality too. And it's very soothing. It's just giving me like summer, laying in the grass, chilling, literally nowhere to be vibes. Oh, interesting. So it says artwork copyrighted by Cassandra Clare, LLC. Oh, that's why it's probably double-sided because this side has that and this side does not. We have the display side and we have the uh, copyrighted side. <laughs> Let's see who drew it. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. So when I said the boys, it's because, you know, I didn't know who it was, but the actual card says, this stunning art print of the boys. <laughs> 
in Chain of Gold. I mean, it makes sense. And it's illustrated by Merwild & Co. <sighs> Merwild & Co. just has such like a glowy, renaissance -y kind of feel to their artwork, so I'm really happy with that. Oh, and then the boys are James, Matthew, Thomas, and Christopher lounging around on a warm summer's day. You know, Merwild & Co. really gave me that vibe about the boys in summer, and then I read it on the card. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm so impressed by that, but I am. So let's just set that there because it looks like the last thing in the box is the book, which I'm so excited to see what they did. I know that they made it really, really special, like how they did with the Queen of Nothing book. So I'm excited to open this up with you guys. Like I said, they normally don't have too, too many items in their collector's editions boxes, but the items that they do have are just such high quality and it's why I like them so much. So let's grab her. Is there like anything? Oh my gosh, wait, I can feel it. <gasps> Wait, is this gonna be like the, let's just open it, let's open it, let's open it. Oh my gosh, it's getting stuck. <gasps> I love this. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you see that? The dagger, the sprayed edges, it's like a completely black book with gold. Oh, I love this. I don't know if this is the exact style that I don't believe it is, but Waterstones makes very special editions of some of Cassandra Clare's books. You guys have asked me about them a lot. I do have a few of them on my shelves, but I wasn't fond of what the Chain of Gold one was going to look like because it was, I think, purple and gold, so I didn't get it. But I was kind of mildly regretting it just because it's nice to have them all together on the shelf. And now Fairy Loot gave me this beautiful book! Does it not kind of look like a Bible? Because it's giving me Bible vibes. Like the sword kind of looks like a cross. <laughs> and it's really thick like the bible. <laughs> I guess that's kind of it and like the black and gold but that's hilarious. Oh my gosh and the back says love cuts deeper than any blade. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. I love that it's just like black and gold and not much else going on. I just fits. It fits. <gasps> and we have a little oh that's so nice. This is uh, the art print that I actually saw going around on Twitter a while ago. And then we have this, I believe it's screen printed. It doesn't look like it's actually Cassandra Clare's autograph. Like it looks like it might be a stamp, but that's still really, really cool. Ooh, let's see, does the end page have anything? I really love the like peachy salmon colored pages. This is so pretty, oh my gosh. And if you didn't know, Chain of Gold is the newest book in Cassandra Clare's Shadowhunter world and it comes after the events of Infernal Devices so if you haven't read any of Cassandra Clare's books I highly recommend reading Infernal Devices before you pick up Chain of Gold. I guess you technically don't need to read any of the other ones but I get asked all the time what order I read Cassandra Clare's books in or what order I would recommend them in and I 100% recommend publication order for Cassandra Clare's books. I just think it's the best way to read them but yeah. That's my little spiel. She deserves like a high and mighty place. There we go. I think my favorite thing in this box, if I didn't get to pick the book because the book is just definitely my favorite, it would probably be the, I'm gonna be basic and say the Moral Instrument Cup because I never would have expected to get one and I've definitely low key wanted one for a really long time. So I'm really happy with that. Now I am just going to put this stuff away just in case anyone did want to skip over this part just for the outro. So I will see you in a moment. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's double fairy loot unboxing. I absolutely adored both boxes. They are just such high quality. Fairy loot literally never ever fails me. So I'm just so happy to be able to unbox them for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know, did you end up getting a collector's edition box? Because they're just so much fun. I love collector's edition boxes. I think that they're just like such a good time and like such a great way to celebrate a book that you've been excited for. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got it sent to me. Again, I am a Fairy Loot rep. So if you do want to check them out for the first time or anything like that, be sure to use my discount code and yeah. It's, it's for you guys. I don't really get anything out of it. I mean, except for these awesome boxes, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you so, so much. I hope you're staying very safe during these strange times, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye. Oh, please, please stay up. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, I'm so thirsty. So I'll just let it wash me out, and then I'll try and read from the camera. No, I, that's a dumb idea. Failure isn't absolute just because you couldn't save ever- I was gonna say evermore. <sighs> Hit me in the throat. Oh, it's just gonna keep rolling, huh? Okay, well...